<coughs> a couple of food allergies. One, nuts. Uh, if you've got a nut allergy, you probably know about it. It's very, yeah, it's very, very, um, you can go into anaphylactic shock, you can die. I had a, a friend in high school that died because he didn't know something was in, uh, that nut product was in something that he ate. He ate it, it had very little concentration, had, went into anaphylactic shock um, and died. Uh, a weed allergy, you may or may not know about it. It's not uh, usually as dramatic of an allergy, but it can lead to upset stomach, um, indigestion, pain, um, any kind of uh, digestive uh, problem along with uh, dairy. So these are things that you might want to uh, move out of your diet if you're having chronic upset stomach, chronic uh, problems digesting, uh, any kind of chronic pain or stomach ache or that type of stuff. You may have a wheat allergy or dairy allergy. Uh, okay, so we're moving away completely from uh, diet or, or what we're supposed to eat, and we're going to talk about if we should supplement our diets. A um, little cartoon. It's not as funny as I thought it was. <laughs> Uh, so I, I guess first we'll talk about should we even supplement our diet and really the answer is you know, maybe or, or kind of. Uh, <coughs> supplements aren't generally necessary if we've got a really, really good diet. You can get everything you need, everything that your body needs out of just eating healthy. Um, supplements really are meant to put stuff into your body that you're not getting because you've got a particularly healthy diet. So. The answer to this question is maybe we do need to supplement our diet. We'll talk about that just a little bit. Um, people that uh, really will benefit from supplementation, a couple different categories that studies have been done to say uh, this type of supplement will help these type of individuals. Um, a lot of children, especially children in t today's time, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. Vegans who stay completely away from animal products. Um, if you're prone to infection or getting sick a lot, there's supplements that can help with that. And obviously, if you've got a poor diet, you'll need to supplement it with um, something from the outside or something you get at the vitamin shop or GNC. <coughs> a couple things you want to know about supplements is one, they're not regulated strictly like drugs are. Um, they're regulated as food, so they'll all have a, a food label on them. Uh, the studies showing the effectiveness of supplements are very limited and that's because the labs that do um, studies to, to show if a product is going to help your health generally want to make it into a drug so a lot of times they'll do a study on a particular natural product and then it'll become a drug it'll be reg regulated by the FDA and that's how you make a profit on it so studies are very expensive you have to pay for them so if something is staying a supplement it's because there hasn't really been a lot of studies um, about them, but um, a lot of the stuff we'll talk about, they have had studies on them, they're, it does show effectiveness, so we'll talk about a little bit of that. Um, and they're not meant to treat any disease. Again, this is just something concentrated, taking from, from a natural product that's put in a, a small pill form that you can take and that'll give you more of that particular substance, whatever that may be. <coughs> we talked about some, some supplements and how it relates to medication and here are some some actual supplements or some vitamins that have been made into medications or have been regulated by the FDA. One is a full vite which is basically a, a B9 vitamin. Um, vitamin A for wrinkles, uh, there's prescription vitamin A now and then a lot of times people get uh, vitamin B12 injections which is, which is just vitamin B12 um, used for uh, boosting energy but it's uh, regulated now by the FDA and, and given medically. <coughs> so um, what is a supplement? A supplement is a variety of different things, vitamins, minerals, herbs, enzymes, amino acids, proteins, anything that's taken from the natural world or from a food product, concentrated, into, concentrated down into one thing or a couple things in the case of a multivitamin and then given in a small form so you can get a lot of it without eating a lot of the food that it comes from. So given in usually a pill form or a powder. <coughs> um, so again, it's basically a really, really concentrated food product. It's regulated as a food so it'll have the, the regular food nutrition label. Um, okay, now we'll go back and talk a little bit about uh, the categories of people that um, supplementation can often help. Growing children, vitamin D is often important, especially not, not children, 
that go out and get a lot of play and a lot of exercise. If you're out exercising and doing a lot, we're talking about children that are sitting, playing video games, watching TV, not getting a lot of exercise. Um, if you're not stressing the bones as the bones are growing, the bones don't uh, grow as strong. So really you need a lot of play, running and jumping, um, as well as sunlight. The sun actually uh, reacting to your skin helps you process uh, vitamin D and calcium and, and build your bones stronger. So growing children, vitamin D deficiency uh, is often um, a problem. Vitamin D supplementation will help that. Vegans, uh, again, they're staying strictly away from any kind of animal product. There's uh, a few things that only come from animals or come in high concentration of animals. Vitamin B12 is one, it's only in animal products. Um, iron and zinc, also uh, from meat or from eating meat, you get a lot of that. So supplementation for vegans is often uh, not only uh, beneficial, but really necessary. <clears throat> uh, if you have prone to infection, you're getting sick often, vitamin C really will help boost your immune system. And then a product called Echinacea is real effective once you are sick and actually combating, um, especially like the common cold. Um, so vitamin C and echinacea for people that feel like they're, they're getting sick often or that you already are sick. And um, those that have poor diet, like we talked about before, may need to sup supplement your diet, but really then we're just talking kind of ourselves in circles because the, the main goal is to change your diet. If you're not dieting correctly, even small changes to bring in some of this uh, proper nutrition and to eliminate some of the bad stuff is more important than just trying to supplement yourself back up into a normal range. <clears throat> so here are some of the dietary supplements, calcium, magnesium um, for bone strength, but also for um, muscle help, muscle health. Uh, magnesium is big in actually getting the muscle to fire as well as calcium. Uh, fish oil, we talked about it a little bit before, um, it's good for heart health. Um, vitamin A, CoQ10, um, and then glucosamine and chondroitin, which uh, are uh, good for joint health as well. Um, conclusion, uh, this is about uh, more about the supplements. Um, healthier diets obviously prevail. You don't need supplements if you don't need supplements. If you've got a healthy diet, supplementation is really not necessary. Supplementation really has only been clinically proven for the four categories uh, that we talked about. So it will help for some people, and, but things like a multivitamin, there, there really isn't a lot of uh, great research as far as that goes. Obviously getting more of these vitamins into your body isn't a bad thing, but as far as treating or preventing diseases, it's hard to say. Um, any ideas what else besides nutrition we can do to keep ourselves healthy? Exercise. There it is. Exercise, any kind of exercise that you want to, th that you're doing, and it doesn't have to be, you know, go to the gym for two hours every single day, regimented, 30 minutes, three to five times a week, walking, um, getting up, even stretching, any kind of movement. The body's not made to sit stationary. That's not the way it was um, designed or evolved or however you want to put it. Uh, the body's meant to be in pretty much constant motion, so you're going to keep yourself healthy with just a little bit of regular exercise. Again, 30 minutes a few times a week, a couple hours a week uh, is, you know, you, you won't, you know, get the big muscles or, or really lose a lot of weight doing that, but you'll keep yourself healthy or, or ward back some of the disease um, processes. Exercise really only amounts to about 25%. That being said, really nutrition is the bulk of what you want to do um, if you want to remain healthy. It's about 75%. Uh, that's it for this one. We'll take like five minutes just like. So